एंड वेलकम टू ग्रेड अप हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू ग्रेड अप सो टूडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग द वेरियस करेंट अफेयर्स एंड द इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स फॉर द थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ जनवरी टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी वन so guys we've almost completed a month into our current affairs and in these days i have discussed many many new current affairs topics with you so keeping that in mind we would be discussing more and more topics as per the requirement that we get in the examination okay now that said let us quickly continue with the current affairs of the day all right so the very first question which we have today is which organization has released the global climate litigation report of 2021 which highlights that the climate litigation cases have increased in recent years okay so what is the name of the organization that has released the global climate litigation report it is is it a united nations development program undp is the answer going to be b united nations environment program is the answer c inter is the answer going to be c intergovernmental panel on climate change or is the answer d world meteorological organization wmo okay take 10 seconds of your time and then please poll your answers accordingly okay so the answer to this question the answer to this question that we have is b the united nations environment program see the unep has released a report which is titled as the global climate litigation report according to the report climate litigation cases have spiked in recent years this makes the court room increasingly relevant to efforts to address climate change around the world okay the report is made in cooperation by unep in cooperation with the seven center for climate change law at columbia university which shows that climate litigation has become more common and more successful worldwide all right now let's go to the next question of the day what is india's rank out of 98 countries in the covid-19 performance index published by the australian think tank loi institute okay what is india's rank in the performance covid-19 performance index see the options that we have is it a 65th is it b 677th is it c 86th or is the answer d 88 have a look at the options tell me which option here you think is going to be correct okay so the answer to this question is c 86th see as per the covid 19 performance in, in the covid 19 performance index is released by the lowy institute from australia okay india has ranked very poorly in this index and is and is ranked 86th out of 98 countries while united states has been placed at the position of 94 and brazil has been the worst performer according to the index the best country okay in uh, in asia okay in the indian subcontinent or in south asia is sri lanka which has ranked 10th Maldives is at twenty five. Pakistan has scored better than us at sixty nine. Nepal at seventy and Bangladesh at eighty four. 
China was basically not included at all. It was not concluded in the data. Nobody included it because basically they had not told us a lot about, you know, the COVID virus, the lack of transparency, the lack of publicly available data. So because of that, China has been not even considered in the index. Okay. Now the next question. Which two countries were ranked the best performing countries in their response to the pandemic according to the COVID-19 performance index, okay, released by the Australian think tank Lowy Institute. So in the last question, as we had discussed, we saw that India was placed at a rank of 86, Pakistan at 69, Sri Lanka was in a much better position, 10, Maldives was at 25, so very close, huh? Uh, USA was placed very badly at a place of 94 and Brazil was at the last. So it had a rank of 98. So what about the others? What is the best performing ones? Is it A, uh, Japan and Taiwan? Is the answer B, Australia and Philippines? New Zealand and Vietnam? Or is it D, Sri Lanka and Maldives? We know Sri Lanka and Maldives cannot be the correct answer because you know the ranks of them are 10 and 25. So what is the best performing ones? The answer is going to be C, New Zealand and Vietnam. So, you are going to see that New Zealand and Vietnam have topped the list as per the COVID-19 performance index, okay, and is followed by countries like Taiwan, Thailand, and Cyprus, which are in the top five. Now, the next question. India has launched 2021 as the year of the environment, along with which other country? Is the answer A, Japan? Is the answer B, UK, C, Germany, or is it D, France? Again, look at the questions, okay? Closely look at the questions. Tell me which one here you think is going to be the correct option for the same. Okay. The answer to this question is going to be D, France. So, at the Indo-French year of the environment, okay? This year is called the Indo-French year of the environment. Uh, it has been launched by the Environment Ministry along with Barbara Pompili, the French Minister for Ecological Transition. Okay. So, this year, according to India and France, is going to be based on five main themes. These themes are going to be environment protection, climate change, biodiversity conservation, sustainable urban development, renewable energy and energy efficiency. This has been given instead by a statement of the Ministry. Now, let's go to the fifth question of the day. All right. So, for the conservation of which of the following species, the Ministry of Environment has released the National Marine Action Plan. Which species have to be protected according to the National Marine Action Plan? Is it A, the marine turtle, B, the dolphin, C, the polar bear, or D, the dunong, the dugong? Okay. The answer to this question is A, marine turtle, okay? See, uh, there was a reason, there was a need to conserve the marine uh, megafauna and marine turtles, okay? As per the MOEFCC, okay? So, it has been done in New Delhi. So, the sixth question now. Uh, what is India's rank among 180 countries? in the Corruption Perception Index of the year 2020 released by the Transparency International. So it has been very much in the news and to be very honest and frank with you, India has not done as well as it did last year, which has actually raised a lot of areas of concern. So keeping that in mind, quickly answer the question that you have over here. Okay, which question, which what is the rank of India over here? 65th, 77th, 86th, or is the answer going to be D, 88th? Okay. Have a look at the options. Take 10 seconds of your time. Okay. So, the answer to this question is C, 86th. Now, India has been ranked 180. Okay. Uh, 86th out of 180. Uh, in the Corruption Perception Index, as we've already read about, okay, in the Corruption Perception Index of 2020, all right. So, India's ranking on the corruption, on the CPI, all right, India's ranking in the CPI has slipped from 86, okay, 80 to 86. 
even as its score has decreased slightly but still it shows a negative trend of uh, you know corruption in india because of which it has become a very very important topic okay all right now the next question the rioned personality cloris leachman okay has passed away recently she was a veteran what was she a banker a was she b an actor was she c a politician or was she d an environmentalist okay so quickly have a look at the questions all right the answer to this question is b actor okay so cloris leachman is an oscar winning is an oscar winner for her portrayal of a lonely housewife in the last picture show okay and a comedic delight as the fearsome flower bluecher in young frankenstein and a self absorbed neighbor phyllis on the mary tyler moore show and she has passed away recently now the next question which country okay which country has hosted the the 17th ministerial meeting of the asia cooperation dialogue 2021 okay so which country has launched the 17th ministerial meeting of the asia cooperation dialogue which has been held under the theme which has been held under the theme the new normal and safe and healthy tourism okay look have a look at the options and tell me which one you think is correct is it option a japan b turkmenistan c turkey or is it d indonesia okay quickly look at the options okay now the answer to this question is c turkey So Turkey has hosted the seventeenth ministerial meeting of Asia Cooperation Dialogue under the theme. The Indian side was represented by Miss Riva Ganguly Das, who is the Ministry of External, who is the Secretary of the East in the Ministry of External Affairs. Okay, now who has been appointed as the new managing director of SBI for a period of three years? Is the answer going to be? A Swaminathan, uh, Janakiran. Is it J K Sivan? Is the answer Vishwavir Ahuja or is the answer D Rajvir Ahuja? Okay. So take ten seconds of your time. All right. Have a look at the options that you have in front of you, and then you can just poll in your answers. Okay. okay so the answer to this question is a swaminathan janaki raman okay see the appointments committee of the cabinet okay the appointments committee of the cabinet has approved the appointment of swaminathan Janaki uh, Janaki Raman and Ashwin Kumar Tiwari as the new managing directors of the SBI for a period of three years. He was initially the deputy MD finance of SBI. Ashwin Kumar Tiwari was serving as an MD and chief executive officer of SBI Card, which is a subsidiary of SBI. All right. So as of now, if you notice this, as of now, if you are noticing this. he they have become the uh, uh, they have become the new managing directors the bbb or the bank boards bureau okay the bank board bureau uh, in october 2020 recommended their names recommended their names for the post of md at sbi 
so that is the question over here now the next question okay so kaja kalas has been appointed as the first female prime minister of which country she has been appointed as the prime minister of which country okay so quickly have a look at this option and tell me which one over here you think is going to be the correct option for the day okay so the answer to this question is b estonia the estonia president kirsti kaljuliard appointed kaja kalas as the prime minister okay as the prime minister for uh, uh, of the country with her appointment she is the very first as i said she is the very first lady to be ever appointed to be ever appointed as the prime minister of her particular country so a very big a very big achievement of this time all right she succeeds juri rataz okay and she is a leader of the reform party so that said now let us go forward to the next question who has authored the book titled who has authored the book titled the law of emergency powers comparative common law perceptives is it a justice suryakant okay is the answer here going to be is the answer here going to be b justice sanjay uh, kishan call okay is the answer here going to be is the answer here going to be c abhishek singhvi or is the answer d justice hima rohani all right so have a look at the options that you have here in front of you and tell me if you think any of these two options are going to be correct okay so the answer is c abhishek singhvi okay how is it right see the book titled okay the book titled the law of emergency powers comparative common law perceptives was authored by dr abhishek sangvi and professor khangesh gautam it has pre presented a detailed study as we say it has presented a detailed study on legal and constitutional provisions of the emergency powers under article 356 so very good some of you are answering absolutely correctly baibabi pal uh, and uh, baibabi pal yes i can see two names here baibabi baibabi and pal all right the book was launched by one of the senior judges of the supreme court justice nv ramana along with three other supreme court judges suryakant justice kishan call and justice dy chandrachur okay now that said let's go to the three other supreme court judges suryakant now let's go to the next question of the day which state government has launched a first of its kind okay a first of its kind initiative in india where beneficiaries of old age pensions will be automatically selected using the navodaya app okay and their pension amount must be paid through dbt mode direct benefit transfer mode is the answer a rajasthan b tamil nadu c kerala or is the answer d karnataka okay quickly look into your answers quickly look into the options you have okay all right the answer to this question is d karnataka see during the state wide campaign cm bs yadurappa launched the first of its kind initiative okay where the beneficiaries of old age pensions will be selected automatically by the navoda app okay and pension amount would go directly through the dbt mode it was piloted in the udupi and ballari districts of the state okay so this app is developed in accordance with the national education policy guidelines all right 
and the aim is to enable beneficiaries to get pension without the need of middlemen okay now the next question the data privacy day is observed every year on which date to create awareness okay to create awareness and promote privacy and data protection okay very good bye bhabhi good bye bhabhi i can see your options 25th 26th 27th 28th data privacy day okay the answer to this question is very good bye bhabhi you answered absolutely correctly the answer to this question is 28th january which is celebrated as data privacy day in several countries including india so it aims to create awareness and promote privacy and data protection theek okay? hai the motto is to enhance awareness among businesses and users about protecting the privacy of their personal information online see reason there has been a hue and cry from different sections of people when whatsapp has announced data transfer of its users to its parent organization facebook okay it is in background of that now the next question question number 15 the mahananda wildlife sanctuary is located in which in the in which state where the first mahananda bird festival will be organized in 2021 okay so basically the question is where is the mahananda wildlife sanctuary situated assam tripura west bengal or bihar okay again you need to take 10 seconds of your time take some time look at the question very very closely and then you poll in your answers okay the answer to this question is c west bengal so a bird festival will be organized in mahananda wildlife sanctuary west bengal to provide an opportunity for enthusiasts to explore the forest and different worlds obviously the darjeeling wildlife division okay the darjeeling wildlife division is going to be looking into it and it will be organizing it from 20th february to 23rd of the same okay now the annual cherry blossom festival or the cherry blossom mao festival is going to be held is going to be held in which state okay which state is going to be holding the cherry blossom festival theek hai very common question so answer is b manipur so the cherry blossom was held in manipur in senapati district okay it is going to be held in the senapati district of manipur and it was virtually inaugurated by cm of manipur uh, nongthobam biren singh from the cm secretariat in imphal okay so as you know as most of you must be seeing that because of the covid okay because of the covid a lot of things have been technically changed and a lot of situations have been changed in india it is because of that this situation was being changed it was done online and it marked the beginning of the pink season it marked the beginning of the pink season in the district it was jointly organized by the department of tourism okay uh, shillong association with the organizing committee flower festival mao now the next question which of the following okay which of the following tiger reserve has announced has announced uh, introduced india's first hot air balloon wildlife safari india's first hot air balloon wildlife safari is the answer a bandhavgarh tiger reserve is it baksa tiger reserve bandipur tiger reserve or is the answer going to be d the ranthambor tiger reserve okay very very simple question theek hai okay 
द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज ए द बांधवगढ़ टाइगर रिजर्व मध्य प्रदेश सो बांधवगढ़ टाइगर रिजर्व मध्य प्रदेश इज गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू हॉट एयर बलून वाइल्ड लाइफ सफारी ओके विच इज ऑब्वियसली गोइंग टू बी द फर्स्ट विच इज ऑब्वियसली गोइंग टू बी द वेरी फर्स्ट ऑफ इट्स काइंड इट्स गोइंग टू बी द वेरी फर्स्ट ऑफ इट्स काइंड राइट एंड इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ दैट इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ दैट दैट यू आर गोइंग टू सी दैट अ लॉट ऑफ चेंजेस विल बी नोटिस्ड ओवर हियर ओके इट इज गोइंग टू बी ऑपरेटेड बाय द जयपुर बेस्ड स्काई वॉल्स ओके मेकिंग इट अ वेरी वेरी न्यू परसेप्टिव अ वेरी वेरी न्यू थिंग टू एवरी वन हु हैज कम ऑनलाइन ओवर हियर नाउ दैट सेड लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग वेटलैंड्स ओके Which of the following wetlands has been included in the list of the Ramsar wetland site of uh, as the forty second Ramsar wetland site? Is it A the Lonar Lake? Is the answer going to be B? Okay, is the answer going to be B? Uh, Sarsai Navar Jhil. is the answer going to be c zokar wetland complex is the answer going to be d lake morori okay again 10 seconds look at the options closely and tell me the answer to this question the answer to this question is c zokar wetland okay okay uh india has added the zokar wetland complex in the changtang region of ladakh okay in the changtang region of ladakh as the 42nd as the 42nd ramsar site okay the zokar basin high altitude wetland concept consists of start sapukso uh, it is a freshland uh, lake of about 438 hectares and zokar a hypersaline lake zokar basically means white lake over here if you see this word it basically means white lake and it is an a1 category important bird area and a bird uh, resting area if i call it so for many species okay uh all right now the next question of the day as per the recently released status of leopards in india 2018 report which of the following has the highest concentration of leopards is it a gujarat b assam c rajasthan d madhya pradesh okay quickly look at the options tell me which one you think here is going to be correct okay so the answer to this question is d madhya pradesh see as per the status of leopards in the india 2018 report the highest number of leopards are there in the state of madhya pradesh about 3421 leopards theek hai out of a total of about 12800 found in india after mp we have karnataka and then we have maharashtra so this report has been released by the union minister of environment prakash javekar okay uh all right so we are done with the with this question now let's move to the next question of the day and see how this works okay okay last question of the day the international civil aviation Ag day is celebrated on which date okay which date is celebrated as the national aviation day okay is it 4th of december 5th of december 7th or 8th of december which one of the following you think is the correct option for the day quickly look into the answers given okay the answer to this question is c 7th december so the international civil aviation day is celebrated on the 7th of december every day to recognize the importance of aviation to the social and economic development of the world okay the purpose of the international civil aviation day 
is to help generate and reinforce worldwide awareness on the importance of international civil aviation on social and economic development of our states obviously uh, of the role of and of the unique role of icao okay in helping the states to cooperate and realize a truly global rapid transit network at the service of mankind see the council has as we said the council has decided that from now until 2023 the theme will be advancing innovation for global aviation development so guys we've completed the 20 question uh, a day of the day that we had to do today and it i hope it was a very informative session for you guys we have launched a new a very new crash course okay which is about the bba and hotel management entrance examination see any examination that you're giving it is going to be a two go course for you for gk for current affairs for anything at all that you are planning to do the course is going to be has already been launched on the 12th of january and very soon on grade up super and very soon on grade up super we are going to come with an all new course which you will be really needing for any hotel management examination so it is an humble request it's a first of its kind the very first that has ever been launched in an online platform we have come up with a very new initiative and this is going to really help you in your exams so guys please make sure that you become a part of this platform okay i hope you become a part of this platform so that you can actually experience grade up like never before so guys thank you so much for joining the session and ho i hope uh i will see you very soon on the online platform thank you so much for being online please take care of yourselves bye bye